Today, I wanna to show you how to use the scale MIDI effect in Ableton Live and also show you the new scale function in the piano roll. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here's my session. I have a piano VST loaded up. Now what you do is you go to your MIDI effects section here and you go down to this little effect here called scale and you drag this in before the VST. If you try to drag it after your VST, it'll give you an error. It'll say insert MIDI effects before instruments. So it'll make sure that you don't do that. So it's gotta go before your VST. Now this scale thing admittedly is pretty scary looking. I don't know why they designed it like this. So let me just break it down for you and hopefully try to make it pretty simple. This is a chromatic scale. So I could basically play any key on my keyboard and it will play that key. So here's a C, here's a C sharp, here's a D and so on. Here is the bass. So the first note that I play is C and it's going to be the first box here. If I change this to D, then when I play a D note, then it's going to be that first box there. So that's what it means by the bass. This is a C chromatic scale, which means that I can play a C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and then C. And those are all of the 12 semitones. Notice when I play those notes, all of these blue boxes lit up. So that's going to be C. And the next box is going to be C sharp. I can actually click on these boxes and change which box is going to be blue. So this blue box here is on the C sharp. But if I want it to just be a C, then I click here. And now that blue box is going to play a C when I hit that C sharp note. So on my MIDI keyboard, I'm hitting a C sharp, but it's going to play the C note. So if I play a C and then a C sharp, it's always gonna play a C. So what I can do to create a C major is I can make sure I have all of the white keys essentially. So C, and if I play a C sharp, I still want it to play a C. I don't want it to actually play a C sharp because C sharp is not in the scale. So now when I play D, that's going to be in the scale, so I don't need to do anything for that box. But D sharp, I need to adjust that. So it's going to only play a D whenever I hit a D sharp. E, F, those are fine. F sharp, we don't want that, so I'm going to click here. Make sure it plays a F when I hit the F sharp on my keyboard. G is good. We don't want that to be a G sharp. We just want it to play a G. Same thing for A. And now we have... B, and then C. And now I just created a C major scale. So now if I play any note on my keyboard, it will always play a C major scale. And so this is great because if I'm sloppy with my keyboard playing or I don't really know the notes of the scale, then I can just make sure that I'm always going to be within the same key and the correct key. And this is helpful if you're not really an expert at music theory. If you can set up this scale device like this, then you can save it as a preset and then just load this up for C major or you can select a different major scale. And basically because I have this set up to be a major scale, if I change the bass, so let me change the bass to G, a G major scale is only going to have one sharp. It's going to be an F sharp. So this is an easy way to show you an example. So now this bass is going to be a G bass and this is just a G major scale essentially. So. That's a G major scale. And if I actually hit the F key, it's going to play an F sharp. So now any major scale that I want, I just have to adjust this bass. If I want a E major or an A major, then I just have to adjust this bass. So all I would have to do is just hit this save button and then it would save it as a preset. Now let's say I don't want a major scale, but I want a minor scale. We'll use A for the bass because A minor is essentially the same as a C major. So let's go ahead and adjust these boxes here to make it A minor scale. So we've got A going to be this first box. And that's right, we are playing A sharp on my keyboard and I just want to play an A, B, that's right. But we do want C, so I'm gonna adjust that. We don't want C sharp, so I'm going to adjust that to just play C. And that is going to be D. And that is also D. And then that is going to be E. And that is going to be 
E as well, so we can do an F. And then that is F sharp. We don't want F sharp. We just want F. And then this is going to be G. And we do not want the G sharp. So that is going to be now an A minor scale. Just like that. So that is how you use that scale MIDI effect. Now let's turn that off. And I have a MIDI clip here. Let's go ahead and open that up. I double clicked on it. Now this is going to be our piano roll. And notice on this clip editor, there is going to be a box called scale. If I turn this on, then I can actually select the scale that I want. So if I want a C major scale, or I could do like E major, but let's just leave it on C major, then it's going to highlight all of the notes in C major. And this is helpful just to see if you're drawing in notes, if you are correctly using the notes that are in the scale. So if I hit a B there, then that's going to play a B, and then I could do a D, and then I can do an A, and that's all going to be in that C major scale. What I could also do then is I could hit this scale button, and then it's going to actually fold everything nicely for me. So if I just wanna randomly click like that, then all the notes now are going to be within that C major scale because they're all highlighted. So let's go ahead and unfold that. Let's say I played some notes and I accidentally hit a note that wasn't in the scale, like I hit a G sharp here then I could see that that's not in the scale because it's not highlighted. And then also if I hit this scale button that folds all of the notes, I can see that this note is not highlighted and it's not in the scale. So maybe I actually wanted to play a G. So I could just drag it down like that and now all the notes are back in the scale and I can unfold it and fold it again. And now I can see that all of the notes that are folded are nice and highlighted. And this can be useful if you are a piano player and you're playing a lot of notes and you just wanna double check to make sure all the notes you played are in the scale, or if you just aren't really sure if the notes that you played are in the scale, you can just check by doing this, locating your scale here, so C major, or you can also do any of these other scales here, like minor, or any of these other ones here, which are probably, probably might not ever really use any of these scales. You might just probably use major and minor most of the time. So those will be helpful to you to identify what notes on this piano roll editor are in the scale. Now, the one thing is that it doesn't actually prevent you from playing notes that are not in the scale. So I could play any of these black keys and it's not going to prevent me from playing them. Whereas that scale MIDI effect is actually going to adjust the note. So this is more of just a guide to let you see and make sure that the notes that you're playing are within the scale. So now with those two things, you've got that scale MIDI effect and then this scale function within the clip editor or the piano roll. Hopefully this will help you make sure that you are always playing in key. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a like. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And finally, if you are truly looking to improve your mixing skills, then check out my Modern Mix Academy. This is a full online mixing course that I created that will help you make some of the best records of your life from the comfort of your own home. I'll put a link down below for you to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.